If you're new to Google Cloud, there is a lot to absorb, especially if you're excited to get started in any of the many tools out there like big data analytics, Kubernetes, serverless, or machine learning. I'm here to break it all down so you can start building things up right away. So first things first, cloud.google.com is your starting point. This is where you will find information about our products and offers. If you want to jump right in, you can go directly to the console or search our documentation for quick starts, solutions, reference architectures, and browse code samples. You'll also find our latest offers listed like free trials. Pricing is also detailed there, including Google's pricing list, a detailed cost calculator for every Google Cloud product and service, and information on the free tier for every applicable product. Cloud.google.com is also the place to access support, to read customer stories, to find partners, and to understand how Google Cloud is different from other public clouds. You'll also find helpful getting started resources like quick starts, trainings, and certifications. But in my opinion, the best way to really get started is the Google Cloud Console. This is where you'll probably spend the most time exploring and using the platform. It's where you configure billing accounts, create and manage projects, and manage all of your Google Cloud resources, regardless of their data center location. Every product and every service has its own section in the console left-hand menu with dashboards, detailed configuration, and settings. You'll also find interactive quick start experiences right from inside the console. Take this example quick start for Compute Engine. Right from here, it'll show you exactly where to go in the console for each step, and within minutes, you'll be running a two-tier web application running a Python web server running on Compute Engine. The Cloud Console also offers a marketplace with ready-to-go software stacks to accelerate development so you spend less time installing and more time developing. This allows you to deploy production-grade solutions in a few clicks with a single bill for all of your Google Cloud and third-party costs, and it also offers direct access to partner support. To make sure you set up your employees with the right permissions to use different Google Cloud resources, Cloud Console integrates Identity and Access Management, or Cloud IAM, and provides a unified view into security policies across your entire organization. This is also where you would manage quotas across the platform. Every product comes with one or more usage limits across the platform, so you can prevent one team from spending the entire org's budget on a rogue query or compute job. You can also use our iOS and Android mobile apps to monitor and manage your Google Cloud applications on the go. Lastly, you can contact support or sign up for support packages for both development and production phases right from the console. Role-based support enables configuration on a per-user basis and case management is integrated into the Cloud Console. Premium support offers additional support and faster response times for mission-critical workloads. If you'd like to know more about the Google Cloud Console, check out the links below. While the console is powerful and flexible, you can do everything from the command line. For every action in the console, there is a G Cloud equivalent. G Cloud is your scriptable and almighty CLI, and it comes with the Google Cloud SDK. You can do things like create resources, change configurations, and grant authorization. There are other command line tools for products like BigQuery and GKE. The G Cloud SDK and these CLIs come pre-installed in Cloud Shell. Cloud Shell is a shell environment hosted on Google Cloud for managing your projects and resources. It's accessible from a simple web browser and is powered by a small virtual machine with persistent disk space and up-to-date software for all of your development needs. It even comes with a really handy web code editor. If you'd like to know more about developer tools, 
check out the links in the description below. Now, before you can use the Google Cloud Console, you will need a Google account. You can create a new Google account or use an existing one, such as your Gmail account. We recommend that you enable billing for your project and that you sign up for our free trial. But if you don't sign up for the free trial or are not unable to, you can still benefit from the generous always free tier. Once logged into the Google Cloud Console, I recommend that you check out the main menu and in particular, the getting started section. Check out the checklist to complete common tasks like creating a project, finding products and APIs, and adding your very first resources. Back on the getting started page, scroll down to the section, put Google Cloud to work and click on browse interactive tutorials. This opens up a panel with a list of tutorials of your product of choice without leaving the console. Finally, check out the main categories of products Google Cloud has to offer. Compute, storage, networking, operations, tools, big data, and artificial intelligence. As you progress through your discovery of Google Cloud, keep in mind these key resources. Documentation can be found at cloud.google.com docs, in-depth architectural diagrams and tutorials at slash architecture, code samples at slash docs slash samples, support at slash support, training at slash training, and free code labs at g.co slash code labs slash cloud. Google Cloud can be a little overwhelming at first, but with this guidance, I hope that you are now confident that your best ideas can come to life in the cloud. I'm excited to see what you build and I look forward to your feedback. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, comment, and share. This is Stephanie Wong. I'll see you all next time.